Hello, my name is Miss Honeycutt, and welcome to our virtual back to school night um, here at Glasgow Middle School. I'm thankful that you are all tuning in. Um, so I just want to take a quick moment to let you all know that if at any point in this video you need some translation help, you can get closed caption um, translations available through YouTube, and they're available in multiple languages. Um, and you can follow these simple steps to get the closed captions. So if you need closed captions, you're going to click the settings icon at the bottom of the video screen, click subtitles CC, click auto translate, and then select the language. All right, so welcome to ELD or English Language Development and Focus Science. My name is Miss Honeycutt and I'm so happy that you and your student are in my class this year. So this is a little bit about me. So I am originally from North Carolina and I am currently living in DC. I have a little bit of a commute to work in the morning, but it's a beautiful one and I love the city. Um, I have worked at Glasgow for two and a half years now. I attended Liberty University in Southern Virginia and there I received my bachelor's in teaching English as a second language and my master's in secondary education with a focus in TESOL. Um, my family consists of me and my mom, my dad, and my brother. Um, some might say brothers. Me, um, Perito, is like my brother. Um, very sweet, but very hairy. Um, <laughs> this is my family. I'm in my free time. I enjoy painting and drawing, writing and playing music. I like going to concerts and reading, exploring new places. And I like to watch Netflix, just like most other people. And right now I am watching Survivor on Netflix and I love Survivor. All right, so my teaching philosophy um, consists of a few just foundational beliefs. And I believe that students learn best when they are learning through hands-on experience. So in class this year, I will do everything in my power to make sure your students are having first-hand experience with the content. They are engaging with physical things in front of them. Um, they feel comfortable making mistakes and asking questions. That is a huge part of learning any language or learning any content is making mistakes and learning how to ask questions. Your students will um, learn how to advocate for themselves in my class. Um, I believe students learn best when they are challenged to step out of their comfort zone. So learning anything is never easy, but we have to challenge ourselves and be a little bit uncomfortable in order to learn all that we can. And lastly, Students learn best when they are provided with the needed resources and a safe space to learn. I promise as a teacher to provide your students with the resources they need um, to make a difference in this world and to learn more about themselves and the world around them. Um, and that also includes providing a safe space for your students. When they walk into my classroom, they will know that it is a safe space. I am here to also learn and listen to them. All right, um, what students can expect in my classes? So they can expect to learn English through singing, theater, and art. Um, they can expect to also learn science through singing, theater, and art. Um, and they can expect to have fun while they are doing it. I love to have fun in my classroom. And lastly, they can expect to grow by taking the chances that they need to in order to get to the next step. Um, all right, so um, curriculum will consist of a few things. In English learning development or English language development, we will be um, learning how to read, write, speak, and listen in English. And in science, we will learn about ecosystems, natural selection, ad adaptations, genetics, and classification. All right, so some of you may be curious about how grading and assessments are going to work in my class. 
we will have a few different forms of grading and assessment. One will be called a formative assessment. Formative assessments are checks for understanding during the learning process. Another form of assessment will be a summative assessment. Summative assessments are judgments about what content and skills were learned and other feedback about how your students or how your student is organized and behaving in school will be on the report card. All right, so teacher support. Um, so you can find me most times in D220A. That is my room number. I am not there for every moment throughout the day. I am there mostly in the mornings and after school. But you can find me um, every day after school in D220A. Online resources will be provided through Schoolology. Schoolology is the new launching point that we are using this year. Last year, we used Blackboard and Google Classroom. This year, we'll be using Google Classroom, but um, instead of Blackboard, we are using Schoolology. So you'll be able to find all your resources for your student and inf important information through Schoolology, which will be explained and um, we, we will teach your student how to use that in class in the next week. If you need me at any point, you can contact me at my email. My email is hlhoneycutt at fcpsschools.net. If you need me and you have any questions about anything, you can contact me there. Please feel free to reach out. I try to respond within 24 hours. Um, but uh, so just be patient. Uh, a lot of times throughout the day, I get a load of emails from students and parents and coworkers. So I just ask that you be patient and I promise to try my best to get back to you within 24 hours of your email. Supporting your child. So teaching is a team sport. It is not something that I do alone. I have a host of teachers that help me, but I also have incredible parents that help me as well, including you. Um, so you are the adult of your student, um, the guardian, the parent, um, and you are just as important to this learning process as the teacher and the student. Um, so I want you to all feel included and welcomed into this learning space. This is also your classroom. So how can you, as parents, best support your child in this class? So some things that you can ask your student are, what are you learning in class? You can tell them to show, show, that you, your, them, uh, show you their grid. Um, their grid is a list of their classes and their assignments and what is expected um, to be learned in the next the following weeks. So if they show you their grid, they are showing you what they are learning in class. Um, so you can tell them to show me your grid. You can also ask them, what assignments do you have to do? What do you need to complete them? Let's look at your grid together. So these are all things that you can ask, things that you can say um, to let your child know, to let your student know that you are there for them and that you want to be supportive of their learning. Some supplies that your student will need for this class. Most supplies are provided in class. However, students will be given computers in two weeks and they are responsible to bring their computers and their chargers to school every day. This is very, very important that the student has their computer and their charger in class every day. Um, they could also bring a notebook if your student is more of a visual learner, a notebook might be helpful, and so they might also need pens and pencils. And then lastly, a water bottle. Um, I keep my water bottle handy. We are not able to use the water fountains, or not able to drink out of the water fountains this year. Um, so having a water bottle handy is great because we can fill our water bottles at the water fountain. We can just, we can, just cannot drink from the water fountain. 
And that sums up the most important points. But again, if you have any questions, please email me at the email given prior in this presentation. I'm looking forward to a great year and I hope to meet all of you. Thank you and bye-bye.